right, no surprises here. It looks like Brent Jacobson is the clear winner with the most red flags captured. And I'm still undefeated. <laughs> oh, I'm a beast, baby. There you have it, folks. Brent Jacobson is the Beast Mode Kids champion. Until somebody beats him. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I've been on the show for six years. No one can beat me. <laughs> I really hope someone does. Uh, oh, 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 and, and don't forget, check out the new season of My Dog Ate My Homework coming next month right here on the Kids Network. Woo! And cut. Woo! Hey, no one likes sore losers, guys. <laughs> Just take care of your man, yeah, boy. We got it. <laughs> hey, Brent, great job. Again, for the 100th time. Yep, thanks, man. Well, luckily, I never get tired of winning. <laughs> and I'll be back next week to defend my title. Yeah, about that. We've been getting some feedback from our audience, and they're kind of tired of seeing you win every week. They think it makes it unfair to the other competitors. What? It's not my fault I win every time. I mean, honestly, so the kids need to step up their game. <laughs> but you're 18, Brent. You've kind of got an advantage. Plus, you've done the course so many times, you could probably win in your sleep. Hey, man, the rules are what they are, all right? Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> rules are what they are, right? Yeah. Rules, yeah, we got to abide by those rules. Yeah, that's why our showrunners have written another rule. What? Effective today. Winners can no longer return after winning more than 20 times in a row. So this will be your last appearance on Beast Mode Kids. Wait, are you you're kidding me, right? No. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous? What? Look, I'm sorry, Brent, but maybe it's time to let some of the other kids win for once. What? Hey, at least you got your other show, right? No, listen, you guys are making a huge mistake. I'm the reason why everyone watches this show. <laughs> Oh, at least we got the flags back. <laughs> Come on. Right. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Wait, is this for me? You guys. Yes, I mean, it's a big achievement. Who would have thought that a show about a kid who's going to be 10 forever would be a big hit? <laughs> ah. Man, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Yeah, at least one of my shows still appreciates having me. Yeah, I heard about what happened on Beast Mode Kids. Saw about that, bro. I was a celebrity guest on that show for years. They just kicked me off, thinking I'm too old. Like, you know what? My favorite actor growing up was Philip Mars. My man was on Nickelodeon, well into his mid-20s. Oh, well, if he could do it, so can I. Uh, well, he was actually playing a teenager. You are playing a 10-year-old. Those are two different things, and you look really old. Come on, man. a little makeup can't fix. Okay. So how much longer on the makeup? Because we're trying to get started pretty soon here. Um, I'm gonna need a while. Is there a problem? Look, I can make a 14-year-old look 10, but an 18-year-old, it's not an easy process. Excuse me, I heard that. All right, so if Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston can still look 30. You can make me look 10. Come on. Chop, chop. Make it happen? <laughs> David. Yes? Let's go through the scene. All right, so. Hey, Paulina, I had a question about this line right here. It says I call him my little boy. Yeah. What's your question? Well, uh, does that sound right to you? I don't write it. I just direct it. All right. So. All right. I'm ready. All right, let's do this thing. Let's make it quick. My makeup looks good. Come on. Come on. Hey. It's the boss. All right. Let's go for a rehearsal action. All right. Pictures up. Action. <clears throat> Mommy. I don't want to eat my vegetables. They taste icky. Now, Lucas, we've talked about this. You have to get your vegetables so you can grow up to be... Grow up to be big and strong. One day. Yeah, sport. At this rate, 
You'll be 10 forever if you do not get your vitamins. That's not fair. Why do I have to listen to you guys? Maybe when you get older, you can do whatever you want. But you're still our little... Our little boy. Okay, I, I can't do this. There's no way my character will believe that this grown man is my little boy. I cut. What is your problem, Eileen? I'm just saying, this is ridiculous. Uh, Am I the only one who thinks this? Come on, yo, how hard is it to act like I'm 10 years old? You know, I knew we should have recast it back in season three. Am I the only one who thinks that? I'm just saying. No, tell me you're joking. We knew that this was gonna happen sooner or later. We should have never renewed the show for a sixth season. Wait, 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 wait. We are the number one kid show on television. We were, when you were 12. But people are starting to notice the age. It's getting creepy. The show doesn't work anymore, Brent. Maybe if it was a cartoon, but people are not buying that you were 10 years old. People love me. I'm a star. We don't doubt that. You don't fit into the premise of the show anymore. It's not a big deal. It happens to child stars all the time. What's, so that's it? The show's just canceled. Yeah. You guys are gonna regret this. Look, this show could have gone on for at least a few more seasons. And by that time, you would be old enough to be the dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course I'll find work, because you'll find it for me. You're my agent, so that's what you're supposed to do. Well, okay, what about that show where those middle school kids solve mysteries? That one's a big hit. I don't, I, well, maybe I can play one of those kids. What do you mean I'm too old? Okay, you, look, 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 look. Just find me something, okay? It gets easier. Trust me. I'm used to days like these. It's not my first time being on a show that's been canceled. I'm not worried. I'm, I'm just annoyed. You know, like. It's whatever, it's whatever. I'll, I'll find a new show soon enough, then I'll be right back on top. I like the positivity. If you don't mind me asking, you gonna be okay? Financially? Of course. Come on. I was just a star on a hit TV show, man. I mean, like, I have people that manage my accounts, but, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. All right, see y'all later. All right, see you. All right, bro. Well, that's good. You know, it's always safe to have some money saved up for situations like these. I guess I've been playing your dad for so long that I actually care about your future. That's it. Yeah. Guys, okay, you, you literally don't have to talk right here. You can go anywhere else. Please, just clear out. Go home. Okay, exactly. Good job about us. Go! Man, this, this show could have kept going, you know? Why did they have to cancel it? Well, Life isn't like Toys R Us. You can't be a kid forever. At some point, we all have to grow up. Change is scary, but it's a part of life. You know what? You're wrong about that. Yeah, I can be a kid forever on television. And they can do some pretty impressive things with CGI nowadays. Good luck to you, Brent. Hope whatever you do next is real special. Yeah. It will be. Will you drive safe now? Well, that went well. Is your kid auditioning too? No, I'm the one auditioning. Oh. Okay, well, you, good luck to you. Yeah. Are you Brent Jacobson? My dog in my homework? Yeah. Yes, I am. Hey. It's a little hard to notice because of the 
Oh, you know. Yes, I know. I know. I, I look a lot older in person. Actually, it was pretty easy to notice on the show. It was very noticeable. Okay. Brent Jacobson? Y yes. Hey. Well, I played a 10-year-old for six years, so I have plenty of experience. I was on a hit TV show, if you want to check that out. I don't think it's going to be a good fit. Thanks for coming. Wait, are, are, you, are you sure you don't even want me to read the lines? Oh, we're okay, thanks. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be a pass. We're just looking for someone younger. Brent Jacobs? Brent Jacobs? Last call for Brent Jacobs. Do you mean Brent Jacobson? Yeah. Brent Jacobson. Come on in. I'm so unpopular. The least you can do is know my name. <laughs> Please, sir. My daddy needs an ambulance. He needs to get to a hospital. Um, that was great. Uh, why don't we do it again, and this time let's age it up a bit, okay? Oh. Let's see what you got. Okay, yeah, no, of course, of course. <laughs> um, uh, Mister, please, okay, my daddy needs an ambulance. Okay, that was so great. Um, you know what? Uh, don't call us, we'll call you, okay? And, and thank you for coming in, okay? Oh, um, don't forget your stuff. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye What? What do you mean you got nothing for me? Well, there's, there's gotta be at least something I can audition for. Listen, if you were still a cute ten-year-old kid with an adorable face, this would be a lot easier. But you're older now. And you kind of outgrew your talent. It happens to a lot of child actors. What are, you, what are you trying to say? Maybe it's time to find a job. A job? Like a like a day job? Why would I do that? I'll just I'll hang on to the money I got now and until I find my next part. Sorry to break it to you, but you're almost broke. I kept telling you to save, but you wanted a nice car and designer bags. I've seen this happen a million times. People just think that the money will. Never run out, but it does. Take my advice and get a job. Please. Does impressions? I mean, it's a, what's this? He's a size medium. Why get extra large shirts? That's fine. I'll fit into it. Okay. Right. Are you available to start right away? Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, welcome aboard. Mr. Dog ate my homework. <laughs> <laughs> We're just messing around. Who's on? I had to do it. <laughs> Welcome to the family. I got you. There you go. All right. Nice. We're gonna need you in the dish pit like right away. All right, let's go. All right. We're opening up in five. Oh, all right. Ooh, let's go. All right. Order table three is up. Order table three is up. Brent, hey, you know what? You want a gig? I got one for you. Waiter number three, order up. Sorry about that. It's like he needs a director to tell him what to do. You know what? You're right. Let me try that again. Action. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh all you want, all right? This job is temporary until I get my next acting job. All right, J just watch. <laughs> 
All right, let's go. Come on. Hey, how's it going? Well, why don't you take a seat wherever you'd like? We'll be right with you, okay? Hey, Jacobson, got another customer. Can you handle that? Yep. <sighs> You're Philip Mars. Guilty. Okay, I, I am like a huge fan. I watched all your shows on Nickelodeon when I was a kid. Oh, I appreciate that. It's always nice to meet a fan. No, I'm actually more than a fan. I'm, I'm an actor myself. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of in between gigs right now. But I, I had my show on Kids Network. Oh, wow. My, my daughter loves that channel. You have a daughter? <laughs> yeah. And a wife, too. Crazy, right? <laughs> You're like a full-grown adult. Yeah. Happens to all of us eventually. Even child stars. Order number two, Brent, stop annoying the customers and take their order already. Come on! I'll be right there, I'm talking about idol. Sorry, I don't really uh, appreciate the art of acting around here. Man, <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? I'm always looking for new actors to work with on my YouTube channel. You would not be interested, would you? Are you kidding? I'd, I'd love to. Cool, can I see your range real quick? Right now? No better time than the present. Oh, uh, I didn't really like, have anything prepared. But uh, yeah, okay, I got some impressions for you. Uh, these are impressions I did for my audition for the Kids Network. Yeah, right. Let me see. Okay, this is uh, Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Okay, 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 okay. And, uh, okay, I got another one, I got another one. This is, uh, Haley Joel Osment from The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. <laughs> that's good, right? Yeah, I got, I got that's one, good. I'll get one more. No, you're, you're, you're good. Elliot from E.T., you'll, you'll like this, you'll like this. You could be happy here. I could take care of you. I wouldn't let anyone hurt you. We could grow up together, E.T. Hey! This isn't America's Got Talent, all right? Now, why don't you go bust some tables or do some sweeping? Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just... So? What'd you think? They were good, but they were all impressions of kid actors. Don't you have anything a little more age-appropriate? Oh. I don't know. I guess I've just always kind of been good at playing a kid. I know that feeling. When I left Nickelodeon, I didn't think I'd ever get another show again. I just always thought I'd be a kid actor. It took some time, but eventually I landed three TV shows and four different movies. What? Man, so I, okay, how, how did you do it? I, I embraced the change. It was scary at first, but I realized that I had to move forward in my life. Unfortunately, I can't stay a kid forever. Yeah, at, at some point we all have to grow up. That's right. I've had some others uh, recently tell me the same thing. I, I guess I didn't really believe it. Trust me, moving to the next chapter in your life isn't always easy. How else are you gonna grow? You can't fight it. You gotta give in to it. And once you do, it'll take you where you're meant to be. I suggest you focus on some more order roles. Work on that, and then maybe we collapse sometime. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for that advice. I, I'm just so glad we had this talk. Um, it was amazing meeting you too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you never took my order. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Sorry. What can I get you? Um, Caesar salad.
And the winner for the best teen actor is Brent Jacobson. Woo! Give it up for Brent, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats, Brent. You're back on top, buddy. You know, ever since you left us, our ratings have not been the same. I think it's time we talk about Dog Ate My Homework reboot. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, actually, you know what, guys? I think I'm done with that chapter in my life. Yeah. I'm just ready to move on to the next one. Brent, come on up here. Come on up here. I'll see you later, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Brent Jacobson. Woo! Thank you. Ah! Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is crazy. I've been on this show for six years, and I haven't won an award until now. You know, that just goes to show that you really do get better with age. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And that's why, in combination with the latest drone technology, so a digital fajita building kit will complete my presentation into the metaverse. What's going on? Your brother is up to his usual tricks. Oh, what? Come on, that was not me. There's a pile of straw sitting in front of you. No, there isn't. Mayor, be professional, please. Guys. Take a look around. We're a toy company. Part of the job is playing around, am I right? <laughs> the job is to sell to adolescents, not behave like them. Do you even know how to spell adolescent? A, D. It was a rhetorical question. I knew that. Look, we need to be focusing on pitches for the holiday season. Our sales continue to be lackluster. If you want to maintain your jobs, expect everyone to step up their game. Thanks, Philip, for the presentation, however, I don't see a future in the metaverse. Does anybody else have any ideas? Oh, I knew it was you. I could smell you getting off the elevator. Amir. Lies! I knew where you were at last night! Amir. Get on your knees and beg for mercy! Amir! Is there anything you'd like to contribute? I mean, we don't have our own doll line. Maybe we could create the next Blippi. <laughs> Children stop playing with dolls when they graduate elementary school. But how would you know? You never finished. Fine. I'll just leave. And I'm going to take all these toys with me so I can play with them, so I can study with them. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my office. Arthur. Hi, oh, dude. Ah. Ah. Yo, check it out. No way. Web3 has got potential. We've got to look toward the future. I don't know. You can't seriously be considering his proposal. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Look, I know he's your brother, but I mean, come on. Your own son is smarter than he is. Amir should not be making decisions about anything, except maybe what color socks to wear. No, never mind. He screwed that up, too. Every one of our competitors has a successful action figure and doll line. Clearly, there's a market for it. Amir does make a decent point. Sam, he didn't make it past the fifth grade. Not because he couldn't. Amir is very capable. Her dad just took him out because of his ADHD. That's all. I'm sure it was more than that. He probably couldn't pass the fifth grade today. In fact, I'd be willing to bet on it. Bet? Yeah. How about this? Amir goes back to fifth grade and passes and we do his proposal. But if he goes back and doesn't pass, or should I say when he doesn't pass, we go with my proposal. Deal? 
Got yourself a deal. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Mayor? I don't want to go to school. But you have to. No, I don't. Amir, look, I need you to go so we can move forward with the proposal. You need to show the team that you're capable, which I know you are. Arr, we need to show the team that you're capable. Why are you making me sound like a pirate? All right, Amir, time to go. I'm not going. One. Nope. Two. Not moving. Don't make me get to three. Okay, fine. But I hate you. Don't worry. I run this place. Why does that old man have a Paw Patrol backpack? All right, class, I would like you to welcome our new handsome I mean, sorry, I mean our new student, Amir. He looks like his mom must have been pregnant with him for 60 months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, wait, you look like you were born, wait, when you were born, you look like you were probably a baby. Oh, uh, Amir, not cool. Dustin, is that any way we welcome a new student? Wasn't he already welcomed uh, during World War II? <laughs> Dustin, behavior chart, now. I am so sorry, Amy. Oh, um, please, have a seat. Oh. Okay, class. As we get ready for our annual spelling bee, who would like the first word? Looks like Amir's the only one too scared to raise his hand. Oh, Mir, you don't have to be scared. I'm not scared. Okay, well, why don't we start with you? Ah, octopus. Oh, 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 old. <laughs> Hey, is this right? No. This is stupid. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. No. You know, before my dad passed, he'd pressure me too. I have to do this to impress so-and-so, and I have to do that. I hated it back then, and I hate it now. I wish Sam would just stop trying to be like my dad. He's just using me as a guinea pig to prove something to his board. Well, I'm not doing it. No chance. No thanks. Let me ask you something. Do you think Captain America stopped Red Skull from destroying the world because he wanted to prove something to people? Um, no. Do you think Super Mario fights Bowser because he's worried about what they think about him? Never. Hey, where are you going with this? Do you think Ash Ketchum would stop trying to catch all the Pokemon if people could care less? Never. He kept trying. And on the 139th episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon, he caught them all. Exactly. My point is, you don't have to be successful to prove anything to anyone. The only person you have to prove anything to is yourself. So don't do it for them. Do it for you, Uncle. Now, come on. Let's go study. Hey, that's a collectible. Please, please. My past will never show this bubble again. Please, please. Mrs. Perry, can I have a moment? Sure. Well, how'd you do? I, I, I don't Let's see how hey, you missed it. Dude, I was right. You are an idiot. Fifth grade was too ambitious. Maybe you should try kindergarten. <laughs> Maybe you should try Zumba. You guys know like the, the class? It's a, it's a fitness dance infused workout. It's really high intensity. Leave him alone, Dustin. He's my uncle. Dumb runs in the family then. How many people does it take to change a light bulb at your house? Sorry about that. Um, Amir, 
Can I see you outside for a sec? So I just spoke with the principal and after your last test, it doesn't look like you're gonna pass my class. Oh, come on, Miss Perry. I, I have to pass. I'm sorry, I just, I don't know how. Look, there's something we can do. I, I, there, if you could just give me one more chance, please. Well, um, there's always extra credit, but the only thing available right now is the academic bowl and you'd have to win. I'm gonna win that? I'm not smart enough. Well, it's the only option. It's either that or fail. Which might not be so bad. <laughs> that means you'd end up in my class again. Huh. Hey! What did Perry say? Don't feel bad. Even if you end up failing, you don't have to leave us. You can always be our janitor. Hey, man, don't listen to him. You could never do this job. I passed the fifth grade. Ah. Hate the school! Hey, Amir, I know you're in there. It's me. <clears throat> uh, this is Daniel. You got the wrong guy. How'd you know it was me? No one else is a size 12. And no offense, dude, but no one else's legs are that hairy. Fair enough. Look, I know you're trying to help Arthur, but the truth is, I am dumb. I can't even pass the fifth grade. And Miss Perry said that if I want to pass, I have to win the academic bill. That's gonna happen. Maybe Philip was right. All I'm good at is playing games. What if that's it? What if you can play games to pass? Last time I checked, they're not giving out aids for people playing with action figures. No, what I mean is, uh, what if there's a way you could learn while playing games? Look, Mrs. Perry taught us in class that everyone learns differently. Visually, hearing, um, kinesthetic. Can of what? You know, where you have to physically do it to learn it. Look, the point is, is that it's worth a shot. There's still enough time for you to prepare for the academic bowl. Do you really want Dustin and Philip thinking you're incapable of passing fifth grade? Okay, fine, I'll do it. But not to prove anything to Dustin or Philip. I'm doing it for myself. <sighs> this day will live in infamy. Pearl Harbor. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw your show. What? Oh. Alas, boy, Yorick. I knew him, Arash. Not bad. <laughs> and they land in the beaches of? Norman. All right. How many are left now? Everyone, you can Quarter. And eight. Good. Let's do more. Oh, holy shit. You. Spirit. Holy spirit. Alert the media! He can spell his name. <laughs> Alert the media. How about why don't why don't you shut up or something? Whatever, dude. I win this competition every year. There's no way you stand a chance. Your reign of terror ends today. You'd better hope there's not a word with three syllables. I bet you couldn't even spell syllables. <laughs> You're going down, little big man. Whoa! <laughs>
<laughs> Is that kitten underwear? Get my good luck underwear. <laughs> hey, good luck. You got. Stop, stop. Just hug it up. Good luck, man. You got this. Teamwork? Yes. See you out there. Um, how do you spell helium? What's the square root of 81? Nine. Who's the third president? Thomas Jefferson. You need to be faster. You need to win. What do I always tell you, son? Second is just first to lose. Right, and you don't want to be a loser like that Amir, right? Philip is Dustin's dad. Which actually makes sense. They're both shaped like two filled up laundry bags. Just ignore them, okay? And focus. Remember all the hard work you put in? It's gonna pay off. I know it. Okay, let's get back to it. All right. How do you spell amicable? I don't know. Welcome to the annual academic bowl. Let's get started. Switzerland. Belgium. That's right. Washington crossing the Delaware, December 25th, 1776. You got it. Executive uh, Senate. Executive Legislative and House. Executive Legislative and Judicial. Yes. yes. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Correct. Part numbers. That's right. Oh. Helium. Yes. Yes. All right, this is the last question. The first to get it right wins. The subject is spelling. Spell adolescent. A D O L S E E and S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Amir, if you spell this word right, you win the academic bowl. A D O L E S C N T. Ladies and gentlemen, our new champion is Amir! Yes! Amir, you did it! That's easy. Guess well so done, Amir. You're our new champion, and you did the extra credit. You have officially passed the fifth grade. Oh. I'd also like to pass you my phone number. In case you ever want to go grab a bite sometime. Oh, uh, no thanks. I usually have dinner with my family. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you did it! You faced your fears and graduated fifth grade. I'm so proud of you. I mean, I couldn't have done it without Arthur. Yes! <laughs> oh, Philip, we should get a jump start in Amir's new toy campaign tomorrow. <laughs> you can't be serious. A bet's a bet. Namir won fair and square. Yeah. But that doesn't make it a good business decision. All right. Start working on the idea or start working on your resignation letter. Your choice. Huh. Come on, it's time to go. Hey, I'm here. Oh, let me guess. OK, I won, but I'm still too old. Well, save your breath. I looked up some jokes for myself. I'm so old that my birth certificate says expired. I'm so old that <laughs> Uh, that was actually pretty funny, but what I was going to say is, congratulations. You deserve it. Come on. It was actually not that bad. I wonder what his favorite Pokemon is, though. Anyways, uh, we got a lot of work to do on that new toy campaign, especially if you want to create the next Blippi. Oh, actually, somebody already came out with it. What? They're called Yippie Yay dolls. But. Guess who spoke to the toy owners and got the licensing rights? <laughs> yes! <laughs>
So as you can see, we've had an explosive fourth quarter. Sales have never been better. And all thanks to... Really, Amir? Wait, no, that wasn't me. No, guy, guy, seriously, that was not me. I... He's right. It was actually me. Come on, it's about time we had some fun around here. Because thanks to Amir's idea, Yippie Dolls blew away expectations. Certainly proved everyone wrong. Not really. I mean, I wasn't trying to be successful to prove anything to anyone. The only person I had to prove anything to was myself. You got that right. You down to wrestle some Yippie Dolls? Only if I get to be the green one. Deal. Uh, yeah. Oh! It's okay. You also like cats? I love cats. Mind if I join you? You're on. <laughs> Jay, are you okay in there? Uh, no, Mom. I'm throwing up everywhere. I don't think I can go to school today. Hang <sighs> on. I'll open the door in a second, okay? I'm just going up everywhere. Ah! Wait, how'd you get that door open? I've been your mom for 11 years, Jay. I think I know how to get around your little schemes now. Now, what are you doing up in here pretending to throw up? Mom, do I have to go to school today? I, mean, I hate that place. Why do you do this every morning, Jay? The answer is the same as it's been every other day. You're going to school. I washed the car. No. What are your plans? Nah. -uh. I know. I'll make your favorite dinner: macaroni and cheese and collard greens. You know, the last time you tried to cook, I almost had to call the fire department. Now come on, you're gonna be late. You're a hard person to bargain with. You know well, that. Now we know where you get it from, right? Wait, I thought you were supposed to be out today. That was the plan until my mom walked in on me fake throwing up. Mm-hmm. I told you, you should have gone with a rash. Bro, no. Her and Mikey's mom talk all the time. She knows about the allergic reaction scheme already. Mm-hmm, and she wouldn't know about the fake throwing up? All right, class, finish up. Be sure to look over these problems tonight. One of them will be a bonus question on your test tomorrow. We got a test tomorrow? Mm-hmm. She's been talking about it for weeks. Let me guess, you haven't studied. No, I didn't study. You know Modern Warfare 2 just came out. I gotta get out of this. I need a master plan. Plan of all plans. A CIA level plan. Wait, where's Mikey? He's the GOAT at getting out of exams. No, he really is the worst of all time. And he's out. I'm surprised you don't know that. He broke his ankle playing basketball. He's out for like a whole month. A whole month? Mm -hmm. So you mean he doesn't have to do any school? Or take any? Don't. My mom would never question me about having a broken ankle. Just a couple weeks ago, she caught you trying to fake a broken arm. So. Uh, but back then, I was an amateur, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm a pro. She won't suspect the thing. I don't believe it. I stole it from the nurse's office. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, because you know, everybody loves it when people steal things. Um, you know, I really thought this was a good idea. Oh, Jay, uh, what happened to your ankle? It's broken, Mom. Broken? Why didn't anybody call me? They, they tried to, but they couldn't get a hold of you, you know? Look, I'm okay though, I'll be fine. No, 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 you're not okay, all right? I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. Mom, 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 please do not go in there yelling at anyone, okay? It's not as bad as it seems, see? See, just, ow! Okay, 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 honey. Don't put any pressure on it, all right? Let's get you to the car. I feel bad, now you're gonna miss school. Bye, Jay. Take your time, take your time. Okay. Come in. How you doing, honey? Uh, I'm okay, but the pain is too much to bear. Okay. Ah! okay, all right. Well, I called Dr. Gonzalez to make an appointment to get some x-rays later. An x-ray? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I need that, you know? I've been drinking my almond milk, you know? I, I'll be fine. No, no, don't worry. Just relax, okay? Keep that ankle elevated. 
Okay. And I'll call later and check in, okay? Uh, okay. Thanks, Mom. No, I hate that I have to miss school. It really breaks my heart. Hmm. I'm sure it does. All right, well, I gotta go, or I'm gonna be late. I'll see you later, all right? All right, see ya. <laughs> Jay, my guy, you did it again, bro, you're a genius! Hey, 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 hey. This class is nice. My ankle is healed. Good try, Jay. <sighs> you knew. Mm-hmm. Now get dressed for school right now. And you better hurry. <sighs> but mom, I don't want to go to school. I hate that place. Well, sometimes I don't want to go to work, but I still have to. Man, I'd much rather go to work than class. Yeah, you say that now because you don't have to do it. The grass isn't always greener on the other side, you know. Now go get ready. And I'm not playing around anymore. You won't believe what your brother pulled this time. Fake throw up? That was yesterday. Hmm. Another broken arm? Getting warmer. Broken ankle. Bingo. I can't believe how far he is willing to go to get out of school. Well, you know he does hang out with that Mikey kid. I mean, when I was young, I hated school too. But now, being an adult, I'd do anything to go back to middle school for a day. Come on. I wish he knew what it was like to really be an adult. Well, you might be onto something. What do you mean? Come on, Ma. Must we go through this every time? <laughs> oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you. Happy? I'm dressed. You know, Jay, I have a choice for you. You don't have to go to school if you don't want to. Actually? Wait, are you trying to pull a me on me? No, seriously. If you want to drop out of school, then you just have to be an adult and take on all the responsibilities that come with that, including going to work with me today. Do I get paid? I guess we can work something out. How's $50 for the day? 200. It, it, nurses make bank. $100, and that's my final offer. Deal! Ooh, this is the best day of my life. And now that I'm an adult, let me have some of that coffee. Are you sure? Uh, never mind. Go right ahead. I'll go grab you some scrubs. Welcome to being an adult. All right. To no homework, no class, and no tests. So what are we doing? Should we just hang out in the cafeteria? We're about to start morning meds. Up first, Vivian. She's a bit feisty, so tread lightly. Good morning, Vivian. Time for your meds. Thank you. Vivian, I know you're awake. <clears throat> we do this every morning. <clears throat> Sounds like we could be related. Hey, are you sure she's not my grandma? Today is the day I'm escaping this prison. Hmm, I'm sure it is. You can escape after you take your potassium pill. This is my son, Jay. He's gonna be working with me today. I'm just gonna check your swallowing, okay? Before I give you your meds. Mm. Perfect. Great. Okay. Oh, Jay, I need you to hmm? pour a little bit more water. I forgot her pill. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, there you go. Today we're gonna get out of here alive. Okay? Quiet, you don't want the enemy to hear us. I didn't. No, I figured it all out. I plan an escape route through the Middle Eastern system. And that's how we're gonna get out of here. Are you hey. with me? Here you go. 
All right, I just need to watch you swallow your pill, okay? Hold this. Mm -hmm. This is the last day I take these capsules of control. Mm. Great. Here. Let me see. Good job. All right. I'm just going to update your chart, okay? Now, if you're feeling dizzy, just let Jay know and he'll grab me. Mm. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, it seems like you feel the same way about. <coughs> whoa, 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 are you okay? <coughs> hey! Take it. Ew, this is disgusting! Be quiet! Be quiet! What? I... I'm gonna start screaming. Okay, okay! All I... right, Vivian, you're all set. We'll see you later, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, come on, Jay. Are you having fun yet? Uh. Mom, I got to tell you, she didn't take the Oh, I know. She spits it out when I leave. That's why we sneak it into her food, so she doesn't know. Wait, her food? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can't force her to take it, but it's what I have to go through almost every morning. It's not very fun, is it? Oh. Well, next patient is even more fun. Watch me as I go. Long day? Uh, oh, um, no, I was just resting my eyes. Today was great. Yeah, well, I think it's way better than school. You know, what's nice is I get to come home and my work is done. You know, I don't have to do homework or anything. I can just go play a PS5. Your work is done. What do you mean? Oh, you think my work stops when the clock is out? Nope. You gotta wash the, the dishes. Mom. Mom. Mom, you gotta be kidding me. Good night, Jay. Why don't you my brother just... What? <laughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> wow. I do all the work around here, and you guys just lay here doing nothing. <laughs> Dude, you sound just like Mom. Whatever. Can I just get my money and go to bed now? Sure. All right, there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, didn't we agree on $100? Mm-hmm. So why is my money missing 30? It's called taxes. <laughs> it's part of being an adult. This is ridiculous. You don't take taxes out of my allowance. Oh, see, allowances are for kids. Adults don't get that luxury. This is unbelievable. I just... I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams, little bro. He's gonna scream. In five, four, three, two, one. Ma! But where's all my stuff? My PS5, my games, my sheets? Where are my sheets? Well, Jay, when you're an adult, you have to pay for housing. So in order to sleep in this room, you're gonna have to rent it out. What? Mom, I've been living here for 10 years. This is my room. Sure, it was your room when you were a kid, but now that you're an adult, you gotta pay up like the rest of us. So rent to sleep in this room tonight is $40. For $40? Mm -hmm. But that only leaves me with 30. That's how it is sometimes. And don't forget to pay utilities. That's if you want lights on and to take a shower. What? Forget that, I'll just stay in the dark then. Okay, that just means no Wi-Fi. No what? No, now you're taking this too far. Ugh. How much are utilities? $20. 20 Are you kidding me? Mm hmm So basically this means I'm just giving this check right back to you. 
Twenty dollars, right? Just, just take. It sucks. What was that? I hate being an adult. I work for all these hours, get thrown up on me, and then on top of that, that psycho Vivian almost trampled me. Then I get home, have to wash dishes, get scammed by capitalism, and on top of that, I'm broke. Hmm. Try to tell you, Jay. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. Being an adult is just as hard as going to school. If not harder. I'm starting to see that. Oh. They called me to come in early tomorrow. All right, well, get some sleep. We gotta be at the hospital at six o'clock. Six? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mom? Yes, Jay? I think I wanna go to school tomorrow, if that's all right. Really? Can you say that again? I just wanna... Record it. Hee <laughs> ha! You got all the jokes today. So when can I get my stuff back? Get your stuff back. I know I already sold it. You did what? Well, you can buy it back. Let's just say fifty bucks. Fifty? How am I supposed to pay for that? You wanted to be an adult. Mom. Mom, that is not funny. Please give me my stuff back. Mom. That sounds pretty cool. Kind of makes me wanna go to my parents' work and see what they do all day. No, you don't. Trust me, it was awful. But I'm just glad it's all over with, you know? The only one good thing to come out of it was I missed yesterday's exam. Oh, hey. yeah, about that. Morning class. I hope you took advantage of your extra day of studying. What's she talking about? Everyone take a pencil out. Your exam starts in five minutes. What? I thought the exam was yesterday. Oh, she was like yesterday too, so. She postponed it today. No, oh, 